Hello, good morning everybody. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. How many of you guys ever had uh, bloating? Your stomach's bloated and you really can't quite figure out why your stomach's bloated or you're just not feeling well or maybe just gassy. Uh, so today we're going to talk about that bloating and many causes that causes it and it causes for many different reasons. Uh, it's the food you eat uh, and maybe eat too fast. So today we're going to get into it. Bloating can have many causes, so it's important to identify the underlying issues to help solve a remedy. Eat slowly is number one on the list today, and swallowing and avoid swallowing air while eating. Well, I, a lot of people eat with their mouth open and things like that, so you're breathing as you're chewing. Uh, and they always said, of course, you got to breathe, right? But uh, sometimes you just breathe in the air. Now, another thing that you can do, you can avoid the foods that are known to cause bloating, and such as beans and broccoli and cabbage and onions. I know a lot of times I, we had coleslaw the other day, and it bloated me up. And uh, was my stomach bigger than it normally is? Yeah, it's big. But it was <clears throat> quite a bit bigger, probably an inch or two bigger or more. <clears throat> of course, drink plenty of fluids, water to help flush out the gas and uh, keep your digestive tract moving. So today we're going to get into actual uh, 20 ways to actually stop it. Uh, of course, like I said, eat slowly. Um, avoid carbohydrate drinks, you know, like Coca-Cola, uh, Pepsi, Mountain Dew. Um, don't try to eat too much at one time. Uh, I know sometimes we all really are really fast at trying to get the food in because we're limited time-wise, at break, lunch, things like that on our job. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, I have a handy dandy little microphone to help me do it. Some of the guys said they weren't able to hear me, so I went and got this handy dandy microphone. Uh, of course, avoid foods that are high in salt, and salt helps you retain water. Uh, avoid eating drinks with high amounts of uh, artificial sweeteners. Uh, they claim that artificial sweeteners cause it. Now, I'm no expert on that, but I don't. I used to ha eat a lot of artificial sweeteners. I will tell you that, and I stopped. My coffee, my tea, things like that. I would have that. It said, oh, use this instead of sugar. Well, come to find out, I should just stay with sugar. Don't eat while you're stressed. If you're stressed out and you can't really understand what's going on, just don't eat. You know, uh, stress, it does. It causes you to, you're stressed, you're not relaxing when you're eating, and you sometimes eat way too fast, and, uh, you know, you just, just don't eat properly. Um Number one, two, seven on the list, get regular exercise. Exercise is so important, and exercise is the key of life. I mean, we all know that getting up every day and going and doing your daily duties and things like that, you always want to try to exercise and get moving. I think a part of the problem with retirees is getting enough exercise so you can prolong your life longer. They say that people that exercise and get out more live longer, and that is so important to do that. And I try to do it. And do I do it enough? No, I do not. So uh, I'm just going to have to just keep plugging along and get what I can. Avoid eating large amounts of high fiber, high fiber uh, foods such as beans, broccoli, you know, cabbage, things like that are really, really, really uh, can cause you to be bloated. It really can. Beans are... They're good for you, give you good protein, but they can bloat you. And these are ones of problem that people have it. Beans are so good to you to eat, and of course vegetables are good to eat, and you know, you, it's sort of like this, you know. Uh, avoid eating fatty foods. Fatty foods, we all know the MSG, the preservatives, uh, things like that uh, in all the foods. I know if I have a snack or something with plenty of I would say uh, preservatives in it, the MSG, uh, there's, some, there's, some, there's citric acid. There's quite a few more that they add in these foods that gives it that, that well, that, that taste that you like. And monosodium, uh, monosodium glutamate is made, by, um, it's made by man, and they've made it to where it tastes good, but it's really not good for people like myself that is allergic to it. I'll blow it up. Uh, my face floats up. I have to watch monosodium glutamate. I've always had this problem all my life. 
It took me um, probably a couple thousand dollars to figure that out, going to the doctors. Uh, take over-the-counter remedies such as uh, charcoal tablets. Uh, they do have other ones like Tums. It's uh, really chalk uh, that helps you along, and you can actually uh, help reduce the bloating. Herma re her herbal remedies such as ginger um, and fennel can help with the digestion of your food. We sometimes uh, don't realize that what we eat at night tailors to what's going on the next day and the day after. Eating the foods that are good for you, making sure that the foods don't lay in your stomach for two, three, four days and don't get digested. We need to eat foods that are digested within 24, 48 hours of eating those foods. Just because you eat the food and you go to the restroom, you think all is good. Well, the, that food that you had there was... Uh, two or three days ago. So we keep uh, a level anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds of that weight inside of us. And if you do uh, what they call a cleansing, things like that, you can lose 15 to 20 pounds of weight because all that's in there. Also, water, since we're made up a lot of water, our bodies retain that water sometimes, and we often exercise helps us maintain that level They'll get it out because if you just set, let's just say you set and you drink water and water, water, it's going to bloat you. It's going to, it's going to make your feet swell up. It's going to make you swell up. There are salt tablets and things like that you can take, but you got to be careful with that stuff. You can't just take a salt tablet because you want to lose weight. A lot of people, that was the thing. I'm taking a salt tablet. Well, you know what? You're creating another animal there. It's another problem that's going to hurt you down the road. We sometimes don't think that that one thing that we do today will influence what we do tomorrow and the next day and next day. But it really does, especially the foods that you eat. So uh, vegetables are the key. You know, I'm, we're all preaching to the choir, right? Including myself. <clears throat> I had to ask Ruth, I said, we have vegetables here. And we're, we're slack on vegetables. Even though I just had cabbage and I just had some stuff, I really don't want any more cabbage. I really don't want the, really the leafy greens that are available for me right today because I've already had that the last four or five days. And so I'm looking to find that extra something, like even a turnip green or a poke salad green or, or uh, poke green is, um, or mustard greens or, uh, you know, I've had the carrot tops. I've had the turnip tops. I've had all that stuff. So I need something a little different. Even a good leaf, green leaf lettuce is good uh, for me, uh, but I'm trying to look for that now, and it's uh, nil to none where I'm at. So it's constantly doing like that to try to find the right foods. Also, wearing clothing can actually uh, determine how you feel. If you wear loose clothing, you feel better than something's tight, right? So take a look at what you're wearing can actually make you feel better. If you wear something good that's not tight on your body and it's got and you're choking on it, if you know what I mean by that. It's like wearing a tie. Who likes wearing a tie? Every time I put on a tie, I put it up the collar. I get to work within five minutes after the boss seeing me or wherever. I got it loosened up and a collar down. It will get on me all the time. It's got to be prim and proper at all times. You're not going in and then with a suit on, as you know. It's got to be buttoned up, laced, you know, whether you do a full Windsor. Uh, and it had to be a full Windsor, not a half Windsor knot. And so it's like, oh, man. And so the half Windsors, you know, the ones that look crooked and this, that, and other. Oh, no, the, the, these companies. And I remember at Ecolab, they, they were really fat and fanatical about that. No half Windsors, full Windsor. Uh, it's a type, a, a, a knot, and you had to wear certain colors, and it had to be like IBM. You had to look professional. You couldn't go into commercial account looking like, uh, you know, you just got up uh, running track for the day. Using peppermint and fennel can actually help. Uh, peppermint is a really good um, ease of that. Now, what we started doing Christmas time. Uh, we get a lot of candy canes and things like that. It's the first year I've not gotten any candy canes because they didn't have any in town. And I, we weren't able to find any. But uh, I do have about five small pieces of candy left that the family desires all the time because they're bloated because of the rice. They're always constantly bloated. We're bloated so bad. And I tell them, we're so bloated. It's the rice. I said, stop eating all the rice. So we're hungry. That fills our gut. So I said, okay. So I, I said, okay, so... Recently, I went and bought a bunch of um, candy from U.S. It's mints, Starlight mints, mints, things like that. 
there was a, another flavor out. There's two or three flavors. So I bought a bunch, and I'm going to give each one of the families a bag. And I said, do, dole them out accordingly. Don't just sit there and suck on them if you don't have a stomach ache. But peppermint, as you know, they always give it to you in restaurants uh, as a, you're going out the door or a chocolate or something like that with peppermint in it. But uh, that is really a good thing that we do uh, here. Uh, relax. You know, you can also do relaxation uh, technique techniques such as deep breathing meditation and it can also relax your relax your body enough that maybe you can uh, relax and stop getting so stressed and relax the tension in your in your body of course uh, as i said there are a few always a few things that you can really try to stop the immediate bloating take a mint uh take a peppermint uh eat slowly chew your food stay away from the carbonated drinks try to not uh Eat broccoli and cauliflower, uh, and, excuse me, broccoli, cabbage, and onions, because they sometimes will do that. You can actually eat uh, fermented foods that will help you to improve your digestion, such as yogurt and sauerkraut. It's really good for you, and it can improve your digestion. So there's also a lot of uh, things, like I said, charcoal tablets reduce the gas. Uh, there's uh, semithicone. Is another great one you can take. Uh, of course, you can have your tums and things like that, which is chalk. And so, um, herbs and spices can help you. Ginger, fennel, cumin, and it helps you with your digestion. I want to thank everybody always for watching my videos. God bless everybody, and I'll see you guys next time on Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle.